Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Guess we're going. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's the distance screen once again. <laughs> I don't really know why I was so disappointed with the outcome of the last part. I mean, I know I set out to to get three ship parts, and I only got two, but I managed to set up so many things for the future that it's gonna make the upcoming days extremely easy. In fact, I think it's only gonna take me two more days to get the ship parts that are remaining in the distant spring, today included. Anyway, I'm gonna get out a whopping 100 blues here because I'm going to be going for that ship part way out there first and right off the bat because there's an annoying gauntlet of yellow wallywogs along the way and needless to say I would like to have all, I mean, as many Pikmin as I possibly can to take care of them, and preferably with flowers. Did you seriously just... That one just drank that delightful drop of nectar. I hope you're happy. <laughs> well, you're going dig at those rocks now. Come on, we can get his, get more nectar. Come on, there's... Three droplets already? This seems like a very promising spot, maybe. Come on, just group them all together and forge droplets and swoop! Come on, everyone in, everyone in. Oh, I think there's a couple leaves in there. Okay. That's not too bad. Most are flowers, so let's go out here. Oh, I'm in the wrong direction. I don't think I need to clear out that side whatsoever, so I'm just gonna leave those yellow wallywogs be while I bait this one over here and away from the other one so they don't gang up on my team and swoop no 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 oh geez that's why I don't like those enemies You just can't swarm them like that and hope that they'll stay on the ground with the weight of the Pikmin. It just doesn't work each and every time. Oh god, again? Oh jeez. Seriously? And I just lost 13 more there. And I lost one more somehow. I think it got pushed through the floor via that glitch. Durr! Maybe I should go back and get some blues. That was just awful! But I'm gonna leave that in because of the fact that I, I'd like to show the devastation that is those yellow wallywogs, I suppose. <laughs> so you gotta be very careful with them. Alright, now we got a lot of leaves again, but the wallywogs that are in the way are now gone. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal with what's coming up here. Um, There's an optional boss right here, and I'm getting terrible. <laughs> I have a terrible sense of direction, excuse me. Inside this egg, there's an optional boss. I'm gonna do that later on. It It's a tough one. <laughs> but it's gonna be fun to battle, that's for sure. Okay, new enemy here. Water Dumples. They are pretty much just like the Dwarf Bulborbs. Except you can throw um, Pikmin on top of them, and that's pretty much it. Well, you can throw Pikmin on top of them, but I mean it won't one-hit one hit kill them, excuse me. Alright, now you'll notice that the ship part is around here, but, well, where is it? It's inside this puffy blowhog. It must have eaten it. <laughs> so, throw Pikmin on top of it. Weigh it down. Sea stick throw, sea stick throw. Urgh! Charge, everyone, on the blowhog. Yeah. Where are the... Lost two somewhere around in there. Was that from the... No, I, I don't mean in my team, not... Uh... I know I lost a couple from those uh, dumples, but I mean, where? How did a blue get way? O did it get blown over there by the puffy blowhog? Because that's a pretty far. Uh, oh, oh! It's carrying that pellet back, and it's <laughs> it's avoiding getting eaten because it's got the pellets guarding. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Okay, I thought it got blown that far away, but that that makes a lot of sense. Alright, no more wasting time, because this is the next ship part that I'm going to be collecting, which is the Interstellar Radio. Not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that will brighten up my moments of boredom. The Dolphin. 
while comfortable, becomes quite a lonely place in the depths of the night. And I believe they will carry this to the right. They better not carry that to the left because there's a gauntlet of enemies that way and ye that's going to be trouble. <laughs> And yeah, it looks like they're taking the right path here, so I think I can get on ahead of them. I don't have to worry about them too much. What I'm going to do here is switch out my team and get stuff set up. I'm going to swap out all the blues that I have for yellows. And dear lord, my sense of direction is awful. <laughs> PK Gam, pay attention to the map, not your own instincts when it comes to direction. Alright, come on leaves. Come on, I know you're very slow. But my flowers were wiped out. <laughs> Alright, everyone in. Everyone in. I'm gonna swap out to like 30 yellows and then the rest reds, I suppose. And come on, everyone in. Actually, I don't have to wait because more than 30 are already in there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And my blue is back to base with that red pellet. You! are by far the most savvy Pikmin ever to be able to make it back through all the enemies that are on that left side. I mean, seriously, there's a couple of Wallywogs there. There's those water dumples. You deserve that pellet. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to start going over to this section. Pretty much the Pikmin that I have right now are all the ones that I need for the rest of the day. Um, unless I really, really fail at what's coming up here. Okay, we got... A little platforming puzzle here, and this thing got into into the base while I was explaining it. Thanks for interrupting me. <laughs> Interstellar Radio. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining, though, that I have no... What? So little time remaining? I, I'm blazing through this game. <laughs> that I have no option but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression that not all parts are needed to fly the ship. And yeah, 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 yeah replace the text, we're good. <laughs> Alright, to do this the fastest way possible, or at least the fastest way that I found, throw your Pikmin up over here on this part of the ledge. Now go around here. Normally you would have to traverse this ledge with your army of Pikmin across this very small place. Yeah, that's not very easy to do. That's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, make sure that your Pikmin do not go inside the hole because that'd be, that'd be pretty annoying. So see stick up and throw them up to this ledge carefully. Yes, I'm still holding the C stick. Actually, I'm using my left hand to press the A button. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, but it works. Okay, now that they're up there, I'm going to traverse this path once more. Yeah, this one's a little time-consuming to get, but you still have to get it for 100%. Now, when you whistle these Pikmin, immediately press the C-Stick over to the left. Otherwise, they'll fall right off. <laughs> Alright, let's get the camera like here. Should be good. And start chucking, I guess. There we go. I don't remember how many need to go up there. Okay, that's that's good enough, I guess. Whoa, jeez! And this is the UV lamp. The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright at times. I have to remember to wear my sun visor whenever I look into it. <laughs> uh, what else does it say? This handy light is great for tanning, but it doesn't seem to have any relation to the dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it will affect my escape from this planet. Perhaps there are other parts like it as well. So he's basically hinting that it's an optional item. Um, okay, I'm going to leave them them there because I'm going to take my team of reds. Uh, where is the hole that I'm looking for in the wall with fire geysers? Here it is. This is why you need the reds through here. I really hope I don't fail this, but this isn't that hard of a mini boss. Yeah, it's the armored cannon beetle once again. And, oh. <laughs> I just took reds because they're easier to get through there, but... You obviously can take other colors through there if you're careful enough. And you said the exact same thing. Okie dokie. Alright. Hey, how's it going? Why don't you suck in some air there? There we go. <laughs> and go behind. 
This is so easy if you know what to do. Come on, kill him off before he closes back up. Oh, it actually worked. I'm surprised that I managed to get it on my first shot. This is the bow sprit. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. Uh, what else did it have to say? Awesome. <laughs> I wonder if I should take back that um, armor cannon beetle. But I should give that to like the blues or something like that because of the fact that I lost a bunch of blues to those dang wallywogs. Okay, this is why you need to build that bridge over here because they're going to take it through this hole. It doesn't fit through the other hole. And I'm just going to make sure here that there isn't anything that's going to chew up my Pikmin along the way. So I'm going to see if I can spawn any enemies like Shearwigs or whatnot around this area. Wait a second, why are you... Why are you back here? Alright, diversion time. Hey there, how's it going? So, uh, great day out, isn't it? Just, uh... Don't, don't mind me, I'm just, uh, just wandering around here. Don't look to your right. Alright, you have a good day, sir. <laughs> and now he's following me, great. And don't worry, those Pikmin won't take it through the water. Oh, just blow your air this way. Blow... And he's got a lock on me, doesn't he? <laughs> um... Oh, I've already got three ship parts. I wonder if I should start aiming for more. I'm so far ahead that... Well, why not? <laughs> I was uh, aiming for those three in this part, and then getting the other two in the next, but... Sure, let's go! <laughs> but actually, maybe what I should do is, um... Restructure my team here... With the aforementioned... Blues that I need to get the, uh... Armored Cannon Beetle back there. Although... Maybe I'll just skip out on it, because that, I'm gonna have to make sure that they're safe from that puffy blowhog, otherwise they'll never get the ship part back, and yeah, maybe I'll just focus on ship parts, even though that the um, uh, armored cannon beetle would give me 30, uh, 30 Pikmin out of it. Just for the sake of uh, time, I suppose. And... There we go. I figure that getting ship parts will be a lot more interesting than uh, the armored cannon beetle hide. Alright, all blues, because that's all that's required for these last two parts. Uh, actually, we're going to have a little puzzle up ahead here. And it's going to require us to switch colors using a candy pop bud, actually. It's pretty interesting, but it's also very time-consuming. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to do it in this part, so maybe what I'll do in the next part is the uh, optional boss that I talked about, plus that ship part puzzle later on off to the right side. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a couple more water dumples over there. No big deal. You, stay away from my team, please. And stop getting caught on... <laughs> and now th there's Pikmin tripping left and right. Dang it! Ah, fine, I'll leave you behind to have fun with the puffy blowhog. There we go. Are you seriously coming into the... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is he coming into the water? That would be the most annoying thing ever. Um... You guys carry this stuff back, just to get the blues back up. Oh, jeez, I'm being pushed by all the stuff they're carrying. <laughs> Alright, for this puzzle, what you want to do here is throw some Pikmin up on the ledge. This is similar to that uh, yellow one, actually, the yellow puzzle. Oh, jeez, I don't like this one, because you gotta, I get, gotta flick each control stick forward at the same time, the C stick. And the... Oh, wait, actually, I can do it from here. I'm, dang it, I'm being stupid again. <laughs> anyway, get a bunch of blue up there. And dismiss the rest. Go up here. All together now. There's the ship parts. I should be able to throw them right to it. Part is 15. And that's good. And call everyone together. They should be able to get back that back to the uh, base in time, I think. Although, maybe just to make sure that they get it back in time, I'll just dismiss them here and then let them pick up the ship part as they plop down. There we go. <laughs> now, this is the number two Ionium jet. Yeah, there's two of these, obviously. You could tell by its shape and design that it was another one. It's easy on the eyes, and its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. Now, if he's thinking about this for his budget, 
why didn't he think about the other stuff for his budget? Tell me. Tell me the logic behind this. <laughs> the ads for these jet jets boast that with excellent mileage that's easy on the family budget, this jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home life. Delightful. And I know that, that all of them couldn't go on there. There's way, way too many on it for them to be able to do so. Okay, here's the puzzle. I'll explain it here just because I have some time to do so. Throw Pikmin on the ledge, change them to yellows, throw Pikmin across here, although I'm not going to be throwing them. I'm actually going to put them in the water and then call them on the land because it's faster. And then throw the yellows up here to get it off the ledge, transform the yellows back into blue, and then let the blues take it back to the base. It's pretty simple, but it's very time consuming. It's an interesting puzzle of switching Pikmin colors too. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Alright. Distraction time! Haha! -ha. <laughs> How do you like this Pikmin onslaught? How do you like this Pikmin onslaught? This is what you get for getting in my way terribly. And I should probably grab the other ones, because these guys are taking a while to kill him off because there isn't enough Pikmin on him to weigh him down to the ground. And everyone together. Yee. Come on. No, 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 no. Everyone on him. <laughs> See, stick combo. And there we go. Kill the blowhog. <laughs> Woo. And I'll carry his spoils back for the blues. Oh, great. Of course, it's going to give red pellets just because I wanted them for the blues. <laughs> Will there be enough time to get that back? I mean, get that stuff back to the base? I don't know. Hmm. I guess we shall see. Ooh, do I have five? Yeah, I do have five on me. Oh, geez. I need one more. Oh, shoot. Well, that's fine. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to make it. <laughs> well, where is my team at anyway? Like... In its entirety, are they all at the base safely, aside from the ones that are carrying the pellet? It sure looks like it. Yeah, you guys aren't going to finish, are you? You don't stand the chance. <laughs> Alright, everyone together. Let's just end off this day. And I think that's it. Everyone in the team... Just want to make sure, because I might be able to do a... A last minute dash for the stuff. Yep, I think I got them all. <laughs> Five, four, three. Wow, it gets really dark here at night. Look how cool the Pikmin look over there. It looks mystical. Safe! <laughs> Four ship parts. That was terrible. <laughs> the ship is looking awesome. And now for the results. 12 days since impact. If I can just find two more parts, a dolphin will be fully rebuilt. But time has grown short. I must not flag in my search. Even if I cannot recover every piece, I will not give up. Surely some of those parts aren't absolutely necessary. I can almost see my smiling family. Results! Look at the blue right at the beginning, thanks to the Wallywog. <laughs> but it's okay. They just sprouted right back. Well, I did have a net loss today overall. As you can see, lost in battle and sprouted there. But yeah, that's fine. Four ship parts. Thumbs up, baby. Woo! And with that, I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.